So let me give you the stock market update and what the S&P, the Dow, and the FTSE looks like for, well, the week ahead, given the week we've just had. So if I scroll across, that's the S&P 500. Uh, were you then to zoom into that image, what you will notice over there is that the S&P, well, looking at the MACD, it's starting to turn down a bit, a little bit, but it's trying to break above that uh, signal line. Well, all of that suggests 50-50, either direction, certainly doesn't sound like a or look like a plummet to the downside. Uh, if anything, almost slightly bullish on that one. Maybe we'll get more clues if we look at the weekly chart. And if we look at the weekly chart, what do we see? Well, yes, of course, there's been those uh, uh, that upward trend and higher highs on the price. But what you can see is higher lows on the momentum indicator. And again, it's going sideways. Now, often what happens is when it's sideways but above the dotted moving average or signal line, it tends to sort of go down a little bit and then bounce back above it. So it tends to go upwards. Now that's on a weekly chart. So you could still get a couple of days of downward movements on the daily, but then the weekly should be quite positive. That suggests that there is some reason to be optimistic. Maybe the NASDAQ will give us more clues here still. Um, that's a bit more bearish on the daily. You can see the MACD clearly below its moving average, a lower low on the MACD, that's also bearish, whereas the price made a higher high. So on the daily on the NASDAQ, uh, bearish, but what about the weeklies? Well, the weekly, that's slightly stronger signal to the upside over there. What about the FTSE 100? Pretty much uncorrelated to the US markets in any event. That's now showing a decided move below its signal line on the daily, that's bearish. And what about on the weekly? Well, on the weekly, mm, sideways, neutral. How about the Dow then? Okay, is that going to give us any clues on this? Uh, Dow, that's bearish. Again, a bit like the FTSE signal line down below. And what about on the weekly? The final thing to look at on that, that is pretty strongly bearish on the Dow as well, I would have thought. Uh, the MACD is below its signal line. And again, here you've got higher highs, but the price continues making higher lows. So uh, I'm I'm mm, not exactly optimistic on that side. Overall, undecided as ever, but it's certainly not strongly to the downside is what I'm saying. And if anything, there's enough arguments for it to continue moving up uh, in terms of the S&P. I'm talking about now the S&P moving up over the next few days, um, if not the next week, two weeks. Put a gun to my head, I'd say we're going to be higher than we are now in two weeks' time. Okay, if you've liked some of that, which also shows you the ambiguity of the markets, then that's the place you want to go to, my friends. Uh, campaign for a million dot com. That's the place you want to go to. Hope you found that all useful. Go to my campaign for a million dot com. Learn a bit more about trading and investing. Thank you very much.